everybody welcome to the Waldock way my name is Jessica today's video is going to be a look inside three different summer workbooks now you guys heard me talk about the summer brain quest and the summer bridge activities book in our summer plans because I'd picked both of them up and I wasn't sure which we were going to be using and then a lot of you also commented that you had picked up the daily summer activities from Evan Moore so we have the summer brain quest the Summer Bridge Activities, which is by Carson DeLosa, and the Daily Summer Activities, which is by Evan Moore. So I'm just going to briefly show you inside all of them, tell you which one Emily gravitated towards by first impressions, and then tell you my first impressions of the three as well. Hopefully this will help you pick the one that's right for your kiddo. Okay, we are going to start with the Summer Brain Quest because it's sitting right here. Every one of the ones we are looking at today is going to be for between third and fourth grade. So if your third grader is done and then moving into fourth, this is the specific workbook we're looking at. The Summer Brain Quest includes science, social studies, English language arts, and math. There is a fold out summer progress map, over 150 stickers, and 150 pages of learning fun. The pages are perforated if for whatever reason you wanted to take them out. There are eight outside quest stickers for each of those and then an award that they can get at the end. And then there's just pages. There's no like do 15 minutes a day or do this specific one on this specific day. It just has, you know, its directions, what you should do, the page for it, um, what skill it's covering. And then upon completion, you add a sticker here. And then there's a brain box on each of them that kind of tells you a definition. So this one has like what a run on sentence is, what the word economy and trade means. So we have things like prefixes and suffixes, primary and secondary sources, diverse life cycles, and then there's more stickers that you place on the map when you have completed a certain level. Here's just a look at that map. It's fold out in the back of the book. Now I'm going to show you guys the last few pages in the summer brain quest so you can see how high it goes advancement wise let's see we'll go with this is 116 we have magical multiplication which is like seven times two four times blank these are like word problems with multiplication and then we're doing some um, multiplication and division solving for n over here pottery patterns here we have some cause and effect, narration, and then each one of these is like a little paragraph about a world hero, and you're going to write the similarity and difference for comparing them. So that is about how advanced it gets, and then there is an answer key. So if you need that answer key, it is in there. And if you're familiar with BrainQuest at all, one of the things that they are very popular for is their trivia. They have like brain decks and there is a mini brain deck in the back of here. So it has questions on one side and answers on the other. There are about 12 um, like little question decks back here and each of them have four questions. One for math, one for English, one for science, and one for social studies. There is also a little section for book reading. It suggests a few fiction books, and then you can, you know, write a review for each of those. And it does the same for nonfiction. Okay, so that is the Summer Brain Quest. Next, let's look at the Summer Bridge Activities. This one is the one that I said was by Carson DeLosa. So it is 15 minutes a day. It includes reading, writing, math, science, social studies, and fitness, and there are bonus flashcards and stickers. All right, this one has a table of contents, so I'm going to sit here for just a second. Actually, let me even zoom in for you guys. Okay, 
So there's the table of contents in case you want to see it. it. Has all of the skills matrix. Their summer reading list is right here in the front. There is fiction. And then on the back side, there is more fiction and then a list of nonfiction. So there's two pages of summer reading. And then it gets straight into, there is a monthly goals and a monthly word list for each of the months when like when you start for section one. And it talks about um, the different physical and flexibility things. That's what you're gonna be doing is an introduction of flexibility in section one. And then it gets straight into, this is day one. Day one is front and back. So each day is basically one piece of paper front and back. These again, just like the other one are perforated. So you could pull them out if you wanted to. So here we are solving word problems. Here we are reading a group of related words and writing two more words for that group. We are reading the passage and answering the questions. And then there's a little fact toy down here. There are stickers in this one as well. You place a sticker at the bottom of the page when you're done. And so it just goes on like that every day you're doing the front and the back of one until you get to the end of the section at the end of the section there is some bonuses this is a science experiment there is a social studies activity as a bonus as well and then you get into section two which would be a new month so you have monthly goals and a word list again and then section two is again 20 days front and back here you are doing multiplication and division and matching them to each other um, writing a book report of your favorite book using quotation marks on a separate sheet of paper write a story about one of these um, here's like prompts for you to pick from um, do you think that a student should have to wear school uniforms why or why not state your opinion and provide reasons to support it and then this is sorting between common and proper nouns. So there are three sections. I believe there's three sections. Yes, there's three sections to this book. Each section is set up the same way. There's bonuses at the end. There's 20 days within it. Each day is front and back. There's stickers and factoids. I'm going to show you the last few lessons so you can get an idea. Okay, here we are rewriting the fractions as decimals reading each group of words and writing an S if it's sentence, F if it's fragment, R if it's run on. Um, where would you best find these answers in a on a globe, in a dictionary, or an encyclopedia? So it asks questions. Uh, proofreading. So you're going to use different proofreading marks and proofread these sentences. And then you're reading passages and answering the questions. Here is subtraction, parallel and perpendicular lines, Rounding each number to the nearest place shown in the parentheses, so 10,000, 1,000, 100,000. And then again, there's some bonus pages for science and social studies. There is an answer key in case you need it. And then here are those flashcards. It looks like these flashcards are probably, these look like sight words. These look like vocabulary words. Um, and then you have some angles, place value, factors, fractions. So it's a little bit of everything. And then a certificate of completion. There's your little star stickers that you use when you complete it. So that is the Carson DeLosa Summer Bridge Activities. The last one we have to look through is Daily Summer Activities. And this is the one that's by Evan Moore. It includes reading, math, spelling, critical thinking, and geography, and it too has stickers included. It is set up in 10 weeks. There is a skills matrix in the front, and then it tells you what's in this book and how to use it. There is a spelling list that contains the weekly spelling words that are going to be practiced in the book. And then the way this one works is when you finish for each day, you color in the stars. And then it tells you your spelling words on the front of week one. Write about one thing you did each day. Color a book for each 20 minutes you read. My favorite book was, and I liked it because. So this is a weekly kind of dashboard. Here you're going to be reading and answering the questions. This is Monday. 
and this is Monday as well. So it looks like each day is going to be front and back of one piece of paper. So here we are rewriting the sentence correctly. We are doing multiplication, single digit multiplication. We are spelling these words. We're going to read them in circle different ones. Here is handwriting practice in cursive. Language bites. This is multiplication with missing factors. Reading about Florence Nightingale and answering the questions. There's language bites, math time, writing a list, doing geography. So up to this point, this is Friday. So we have just finished and we're starting. This is the last of Friday. So now we're in a new week. So that was one week's worth of work. So I'll show you one more time what one week looks like. Here's your dashboard with your spelling words, writing something you did each day, coloring your book, your favorite book. Please make sense. Find the nonsense word in each pair of sentences. Correct these sentences. Here is math, and you're going to read, um, fill in the table blanks here using some spelling, handwriting, language bites. This is talking about plural nouns, math time, single digit multiplication, reading and answering the question, so a reading comprehension, language bites, we're writing the plural of each word, math time, again, single digit multiplication, Geography, you're going to use an atlas or a globe and the map of the United States to name the outlined bodies of water or the number of bodies of water. In my own words, you're going to write a paragraph. Complete these analogies for language. Here is single digit division. This is synonyms for the words underlined. Word problem. And then guess who for critical thinking. So that again was a one week's worth. So it's front and back of one page. I am going to show you like maybe the last week so you can have an idea of how advanced it gets. Here we go. These pages are perforated too, so all of them have perforated pages if you wanna pull them out. Here is the most advanced spelling list. We are doing um, three digit subtraction and addition cursive handwriting, single digit multiplication, directions for baking a cake. Um, let's see, this looks like homonyms, adjective and adverbs, draw a map showing how to get from your home to a place you can walk. This might be a friend's house, a park, or a store, label the streets, make a list of five words that could be used in place of the word said. Pick three and write sentences using them. Single digit division. Here we are going to be using a dictionary for these words. And then that is your critical thinking puzzle. There is an answer key in this one as well. And then in the back, there is a blank multiplication table, a cursive letter formation chart, and some stickers. Okay, first impressions. I let Emily look through all three of these. She is eight years old, almost nine. She's in third, going into fourth, just in case you're curious. After she looked through them, the one that she picked that she thought looked like the most fun was the Summer Brain Quest. I think that's because they do a really good job of making it appeal to the kids. They make it interesting for them. They make it fun. They make it look appealing. So this is the one that if she was to just look through them and pick one that she would pick as the kid. Now, I have rearranged these in my opinion of how they go from, I guess, easier to more difficult. Of the three of these, I feel like the Summer Brain Quest is the easiest of them. I'm not saying that it's below or above or on average as far as grade level goes, but of these three, this is the easier one. I feel like the Evan Moore Daily Summer Activities is in the middle, and I feel like the Carson DeLosa Summer Bridge Activities is the most advanced as far as what's in it. So, Depending on where your kiddo is at, maybe you want to get the Brain Quest because you just want them to have something fun to do. Maybe they're advanced, so you want to get the Summer Bridge. Maybe they're gifted. Maybe you want to challenge them. 
or you know maybe you just want something in the middle so that is my opinion as a homeschool mom this is the easier this is the more difficult this is kind of in the middle but again emily says that this one is her pick for the most fun i hope it helped you to see inside these to kind of see which one emily would like best what my opinion is on their levels and i hope that it helps you have a fantastic fun yet educational summer and prevent that summer slide with whichever one is right for your kids and in your homeschool.